I've been meaning to do a video on uh, the trailer for a while now, and considering I'm selling it in 20 minutes, it seems like a good time to do it. Um, this is it. So I built this uh, last year, about exactly a year ago. It is a seven by 12, it is seven feet tall on the inside. Um, I got it built new in Georgia and then pulled it up to North Carolina, built it out and then pulled it out to Colorado where I live now, lived in it for a couple months, decided I was going to stay in Colorado full time and got a house. So now I am selling it. I've had it sitting in the yard for a while um, and it's not been doing a whole lot. but. Um, I've got a family that is going to buy it that is going to use it while they're building their house. So I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see a little better and we'll do a full tour. This is it. Mikasa Sukasa. Um, so, first things first, the wood stove. Um, this is where I did most of my cooking and heating for here while I lived in it during the winter. Um, this heat shield is gapped the whole way, so this is obviously stone tile. This is cement board. It's gapped. Um, about a quarter of an inch off of the skin of the trailer. Um, and it does a really good job of, of absorbing a lot of the heat. Um, and I never really had any issues with the heat shield getting too hot. Um, the tile, again, the floor heat shield for the uh, wood stove. This got... Just normal kitchen cabinets straight out of Home Depot. Got six gallons of uh, fresh water. Five gallons of gray water. Storage. Trash can. A drawer. This was the refrigerator. So, cooler on a slide. Works pretty well. Um, I've got everything in the trailer runs off of a 12 volt system, um, except for that outlet. Um, this is the on switch for the water pump. So basically to use the, to use the sink, you would turn it on, turn the sink on. There's no water in there, but, uh, it does work. I promise. So more storage. That's the stove. That's the, uh, stove pipe. Uh, cap thing storage 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 gotta have those soft close hinges storage all the way down bed obviously um vent fan so not a super expensive one um but yeah i mean it is what it is 30 by 30 window. This was an RV window that they put in for me when they built the trailer. Um, I figured I didn't want to cut into it as soon as I bought it. So it was better to have them put this window in. I didn't have to worry about it then. Um, this folds down. Let's see what I can do it with one hand. It's pretty cool. Damn it, come on. Okay. So that folds down. Um, just to give me more floor space. This bean bag I got for free on the side of the road. Um, this is the toilet. It's a composting toilet. You pull there to flush it. This is storage in here. Just put shoes in there, things like that. Um, as you can see, these are all cans that, I don't know, there's a double glare, but there's these six cans are all um, on this one dimmer switch. And then 
these two are on that switch. Um, so those were like reading lights. Um, the best $20 investment I could have made. Lights under there. Lights under there. Pretty sweet. Uh, would definitely do it again. Got a mirror so I know how pretty I am. Hello? Pretty day though. It's turned, starting to be fall now. Uh, headed down to Fair Play to get this trailer away. Basically, that's the back. So, underneath that wall, um, I wanted some storage in behind that, the livable space and underneath the bed, but I didn't want to be the whole bed. So, uh, this is 14 inches deep, so I would put skis, snowboards, climbing equipment, etc. back there. Um, obviously, it's open to the bed, uh, but when the doors are closed, that's my wet storage equivalent, and it works pretty well. Um, here I've got a 100 amp hour AGM battery, um, solar charger, battery monitor, 500 watt inverter. That's the outlet you saw from the inside. That's the 12 volt outlet you could see above the outlet. I don't know if you caught that. 12 volt fuse panel. And then all that ran, runs up to the solar panels on the roof. Let's see if I can get up here. Hey so I've got 200 watt solar panels. They're monocrystalline. Um, some people say monocrystalline is not, not as good as polycrystalline. That may be true, but I don't care. Uh, they work really well. So it is what it is. Come out. There's a shot. Right down a freaking hill. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I really enjoyed living in it. It was a very cool experience. Can't say the van life is my personal thing. However, I love to build these things. So the plan is to build some more. Um, probably not live in them full time, but I would most certainly build some to sell. If you are interested, hit me up. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So all in, this was like a budget build for me. Um, but all in, I'm like just under $6,000. Uh, so I think I saved a lot of money turning a pretty decent profit on that. Um, so yeah, very much a success in my eyes and a learning experience. And it got me out here to Colorado and this is probably where I'll be for the foreseeable future. So in 20 years, I can thank this trailer for getting me here. Um, along with everybody else who moved here, but I am not from California or Texas. So got that going for me. Yeah, thanks for watching.